Welcome to the nightclub guys. It's your host the night wrencher now today I was actually um, contemplating whether I should be swapping my 650 Holly carburetor down to a 600 and I started to investigate and I uh, came to the conclusion that It's probably not the best idea not because of a power standpoint, but because of something else that we'll get into in this video so what I've got here they're actually upside down, but they're uh, this one is a 650 double pumper poly carburetor and this one is a 600 double pumper holly carburetor uh, 4776 list 4777 for the 650 what makes this a double pumper and not a vacuum secondary is that it doesn't have the vacuum secondary pod that goes here and on the secondary metering block it also has a provision for an accelerator pump which is why it's mainly called a double pumper if you've got a vacuum secondary, uh, 600, 650, 750, etc., it'll look more like this, and it'll have that vacuum secondary pod, and it may or may not have this plate. So what does 600 and 650 mean? Basically what it means, it's uh, the CFM that the carburetor flows at wide open throttle. Um, the main differences uh, are actually quite small between the two carburetors. Uh, if you look in the uh, Holly source materials, it actually says that the Venturi's on the inside, where fuel originally passes through, they're actually identical. So, what that means is that anything from halfway, halfway up the carburetor and up, for both carburetors and main bodies, they're going to be exactly the same. So what actually makes one better than the other and what should you actually choose? The majority of people tend to lean toward the 650 and a lot of OEMs came with the 600, both in vacuum secondary and double pumper variations. Uh, the majority of people don't seem to like the 600 mainly because they say that it doesn't either flow enough or there's not much aftermarket support. And the second one is um, pretty much true, but the first one is not. So a 650 and a 600 will flow pretty much exactly the same. The only difference between a 600 and a 650 main body in terms of its casting is that the 600 has a flat cut right here where it meets up into the main body. Let's see if I can get some focus. Right here it's got a flat cut whereas a 650 it's got a taper. Instead of it being flat like in the 600, you've got this taper right here. And what that's for is that when you've got your your main, your base plate, this is for a 650, 700, 750, and 800 CFM carburetors use this same base plate. This one's for a double pumper, but if it's a vacuum secondary, it would be the exact same thing um, in terms of its uh, applications. So... The 650 plus um, base plates have a larger bore diameter than the 600s do. So what that means is this taper is designed to fit on this base plate. This does not have a base uh, taper, which means that when you install this base plate, if you look inside, you'll actually feel a little bit of resistance when trying to open the throttle blades. So if you look inside, you see that little brown step right there on both the secondaries and the primaries? That actually has a lot to do with the CFM rating. So the reason you can't put a, a, six, a 650 base plate onto a 600 is because these throttle blades will actually impact the bores on the inside. How do you remedy this? Well, you can go ahead and take a step drill bit. Um, a step drill bit is something that's uh, similar to a standard drill bit, but it kind of looks like a cone, and it steps up the sizes. So, so I can better explain this. Imagine this is a step drill bit, and the step drill bit will go in, and it will get wider and wider and wider, and once it gets to the, the how wide you want it, you can go ahead and put slight pressure, and you can go ahead and create the taper on each bore. And that will allow you to run a 750 
650 700 base plate on here and you can remove your 600 base plate and then get something a little bit more nice uh, once you do that you can't really go back to a 600 because now you're going to have the step in the opposite direction if you have a slight step in this direction feeding in it's not a very big deal because airflow comes from the inside out if you swap in um, a 650 to a 600 base plate now you're going to have a restriction in your airflow and you're going to cause turbulence if the hole for the base plate is bigger you can still get away with the smaller bore which is what the 650 does if it if the hole in the base plate is smaller than the hole in the main body then you're going to have a harder time getting it to work and it's probably not going to work properly the second thing um, that it's different about these two carburetors is what we call the air bleeds so if you look inside the carburetors next to the the boosters you're gonna see um, two little holes so there's two there's another two right there another two right there and another two right there that's low speed and that's high speed air bleeds what that is it's basically uh, pressure relief for when you're sucking in fuel you can suck in a little bit of air and you won't have a clog in the system if you were to block those things as soon as fuel was moving you wouldn't be able to stop it because it would just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling fuel with the idle air bleeds you're going to have more control of the speed and the duration of how fast and how early your fuel kicks in. So another thing that I noticed about these is that the air bleeds are actually different sizes between the 600 and the 650. So I believe I measured the low speed, the high speed air bleed was over 60. The highest, the highest gauge that I have is 60 and this was way bigger. And when I went ahead and measured it on the... 600 it was considerably smaller still above 60 but i still felt a little bit more resistance so you're probably looking at like a 70 maybe a 65 on the 600 uh you i don't have exact measurements and every casting might be a little bit different because if you i also have this other 600 this is a 600 vacuum secondary and the idle air bleeds on this one are different sizes than the ones on this older 4776. So different carburetors will have different bleeds. But if we're talking specifically about 600 and 650, if you're care comparing apples to apples, um, they also make that newer version into a uh, double pumper as well. But if you're comparing 4776 and 4777, the air bleeds on the 4777, aka the 650, is going to be bigger than the 600. What that basically means is that you're going to have a slightly leaner mix when you're going up the RPM, and the 600 is going to have a slightly um, richer mix, mainly because you're allowing less air. Also, aside from that, fuel will tend to come in a lot earlier because you're sucking in less air. Whereas if you're doing the 650, the fuel is going to come in a little bit later, which is part of the main reason I wanted to swap to a 600 main body because I wanted to see the relationship differences between these two carburetors. So which one should you get and which one's better for you? Nine times out of ten, you're going to want to go with the 650 because it already comes with the larger base plate. If you ever want to change the main body on your carburetor to an HP, you can go ahead and do so. You can go from a 650 to a 750 to an 800 to a 700, back down to a 650, and the only thing you're going to have to change is the main body. If you have a 600 carburetor you're going, and you want to swap out the main body, you're going to have to also get the base plate. And if in the price of buying a main body and a base plate, you can go ahead and just buy another carburetor altogether. The only time I would probably recommend you get a 600 is basically if it are if your application already came with the 600 or if you've already got a 600 laying around, maybe it's an 1850 uh, vacuum secondary, things like that. You can go ahead and keep your 600 and just tweak it and tune it to have the performance of a 650. Uh, 50 CFM difference isn't going to break the bank. It's not going to have any kind of noticeable difference in your horsepower numbers 
If anything, your 600 is going to run a little bit crisper than a 650, mainly because the air bleeds are a little bit smaller on the 600. And that's pretty much the differences. I hope this seems to help somebody in the future. I'm going to go ahead and see you all in the next one. Night Wrencher, out.